Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSplyShop.com bringing you another video from the shop again today. Um, today I'm tying a crane fly. There's a lot of crane flies in the streams around our area, well in some of the streams around our area I should say, and also there's other in insects that look similar to it, like a garden grub or a millworm could actually be a, this could be a great imitation for a millworm if you change the color on it. Um, give this fly a try. It's a simple fly to tie, um, very limited on materials that you need, which is another good thing. And it's also just a fish attracting fly. This is a great fly. I'm going to show you here in a couple seconds. I tie it in a couple different colors for, like I said, to imitate a couple different different bugs that are in the water. The main one is the crane fly. I'll show you a picture right here, right now, of what the crane fly looks like and then how we're going to imitate it and then I tied in a couple different variations to just to give us a different color you never know what the fish want you know they eat mops in multiple different colors and um, actually like the buttercream mop would be a great imitation for a crane fly so don't be afraid if you have crane flies in your area use a buttercream mop that would be a great one but this is how I tie the actual imitation for it. So um, give this a try. Check it out in here in the couple different color combinations that I tie it in. I'll list them on the bottom and uh, I'll get ready to tie for you. Alright, we're going to get into tying it here now. We're going to be tying this on a fire hole 718 on a size 10 hook. Um, that's the hook we're using, using a barbless one. And for lead, I'm going to be using uh, 0.01 or 0.015 lead, either one, whatever you want. And I'm going to build this up. This would also be a great one to use your flat lead wire if you like to use that stuff. But I'm just going to make nice tight wraps. I'm using a smaller lead, so I'm actually going to build this up a good bit. If you have a larger lead, that's fine. Use a larger lead, just don't double it up like I'm going to. And uh, I'm just going to pinch them together, make sure they're good and tight. Cover the whole shank here with it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap back over a little bit. And then I'm just going to double it up. Okay, and we're just going to wrap back towards the back. And we're going to create a tapered body effect here is what we're, what we're doing with our lead. And you can actually, I go three layers sometime. Like this is 0.010, and I'll go three layers on this just to build up a nice hump there. That looks really nice. Now, the next thing I'm going to let use is some uh, dark gray ultra thread. And we're just going to cover up that hook and make that lead nice and smooth. I'm just gonna keep wrapping here until I get this all covered up and smoothed out. And I'm gonna cut my tag off. Now, the next thing I'm gonna use, I'm gonna create the legs. If you remember when I showed you the video, the picture here at the beginning, the picture of a real crane fly, it has a set of legs that's like little tentacles that stick off the back to attach itself to rocks and stuff. What I like to use for the legs is a hen pheasant. Um, it's a nice color, it's going to match the color of the fly here real well. And where I actually pull the feather off is from this section right in here, right under, this is your saddle section. I like to get the feathers right on the edge of that saddle because they're really stringy here. I'll show you in a close-up. You can see how they're real stringy. They're not tight, okay, and uh, really leggy looking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back. I didn't mean to pull them all off, but you can see how I, I pulled off the tip, and I'm just going to use the tip of this, and I'm going to tie the tip just out over the end of the bend of this hook. All right. I don't want to go too long on these legs. There you see the length of it. And uh, just make them stick out there nice. So we're going to finish wrapping up the wrapping up the lead, covering this all up with the color that we want. Um, like I said, if yeah, I showed you the pictures earlier of the colored ones. Uh, I 
wrap green on it. The one I showed you that was green and gray, I like to wrap the green up and then I'll cover the head end or this end of it. Actually it would be the butt end with the gray, dark gray thread. But I cover it all up with green. What's going to happen if you don't cover it up, this is a translucent skin that we're using on top of it. It has a tendency to show through, which is actually kind of cool if you, if you don't mind um, because there's lots of veins and stuff in if you remember seeing that picture, there's lots of veins and stuff that run through the crane fly. So there, we got, our, we got it all nice and smoothed over and covered up. Last thing I'm going to put on is some Kylie's Nymph Skin. And uh, this stuff is really nice and it's the natural latex. It's very translucent. So whatever color you put under it is what color is going to show through. And uh, we're just using the natural and the gray to get the gray look. I'm going to take my scissors cut a little angle off on it and I'm going to tie down with that angle. I'm going to put it on the side and I'm going to wrap it down. Oops. There we go. You see how I tied it down on the side and I wrapped it down tight and I'm, what I'm going to do here, I'll turn it this way so you can see, is I'm going to pull it back so it lays down and stretches out right back to the back like that. That's how we're going to tie it down. All right, once I get it right back to the beginning of those legs, then I'm just going to go back over and cover everything up. You can see how I covered it all up there. And then I'm going to go back up to the front. I'm going to put a quick little half hitch here because I'm going to use my rotary vise. Uh, I like to use my Renzetti here, my saltwater traveler. And I like to use the rotary action on this fly because it just makes it real quick and simple. If you don't have that, no big deal. You just have to do it by hand. So all I'm going to do is just keep turning this and I'm going to layer these over like halfway through so you can see how it creates a nice taper there and it um, also a nice rib because I'm going halfway over the last one and we're just going to go right up to the end once I get up here, I'm going to pull it real nice and tight and make a couple wraps to secure it in place. Pull it tight there. Come over with a couple more wraps. And we'll trim this off. Okay, then I don't want to go overboard on the head here because this is actually the butt of the fly. So I kind of want the color to blend through it. I don't want to make a huge head. And I'm just going to whip finish this off. And then once I whip finish it off, I'm going to give the back just a touch of a different color. And for the color on this, what I like to use is I have a bronze colored Sharpie. Um, like a bronze metallic Sharpie. And I like to go over the back of it. And I'll just go right down over the middle and just taper just slightly over both sides. Okay, you see how I got it just over both sides like that. It doesn't roll over the side, it stays mostly on top. And then what I do is I just take my finger and I rub it off just a little bit. And what, it, what that does is it leaves it in the in the creases there and it gives it more of a and if you kind of rub too much off if you go backwards over it it gets deeper into the creases okay and now we'll rub it off and you'll see what I mean there that left there you go that left more in each of the creases and lastly I like to cover it up with some UV glue and I like to use the thick on this and the reason I use thick I've tried to bone dry and the bone dry just makes like a nice film on there. It's hard, but it will crack. So the thick builds up a little bit. Try to keep it thinner, but it makes a nice... I, I just like the effect of the thick better. I try not to build it up too much. And I'm just covering the bronze section. So there you go. Just covering that bronze section. Hold it upside down there until I get my light ready. And then I'm going to hit it with my light. And that is all that's to this simple crane fly pattern.
All right, as you saw, it's a very easy pattern to tie. Um, this is not one to be intimidated by, and like I said, change up the colors a little bit, and you can match a couple different insects in the stream. So give this fly a try. I'm sure you're going to like it. Um, I actually fished it a little bit this weekend, caught one or two on it, and uh, I didn't really fish it that hard because it was before a tournament, and we didn't want to really pressure the water. So um, give it a try. Like I said, all the materials you can, need to tie it, you can find here at the shop. And uh, if you want to get a hold of me personally, uh, I'll put an address right there for you. It's wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. That goes directly to me if you want to get a hold of me. If you got a question, for anything about any of my videos or tying, feel free to shoot me a question. I'll be more than happy to answer it and try to get back to you as quickly as I can. If you got a shop-related question and, uh, or something about the materials, Dad's in the shop all day long. He's answering your emails and stuff there. You can shoot an email to contact us at wholesingersflyshop.com. So, please take the time, like I said, as always, to subscribe to my channel. You have a chance here at the end or down here in the bottom. And uh, like us on our other social media aspects like Instagram and Facebook. And stop over to our page, Bugs and Beards. It's a group that we created on Facebook. Um, we share a lot of patterns with each other. I give you a little preview of you know upcoming flies there a lot of times. And also, um, we have Bugs and Beard Night here at the shop where I'm tying right now. We get together. It's every other Tuesday night. And uh, we just get together, sit around, tie, share patterns, swap stories. Just have a good time. Have some snacks. Have some fun. So if you're in our area every other Tuesday night, you got to watch the Bugs and Beard page to see what Tuesday... Sorry, Thursday night, that is. Uh, we always send out an invite on our Bugs and Beard page. Check it out. And uh, until next time, guys, please come back and watch us again. I'm Sean Holsinger. Mm -hmm.